Joining us right now, I'm sure that, uh, you know, eventually when he gets ready for the next step in his career, uh, he'll dress appropriately. Of course, he's that? an Aztec. Senior quarterback for the Aztecs, Christian Chapman, is back on with the Cannons. Christian, how are you today? I'm doing good. How you guys doing? We are well, Christian. All right, here we go. Third year as a starter, the senior quarterback. Uh, let's just sort of catch up with you right now. By the way, it was announced that uh, Ryan Lindley, the former Aztec quarterback, four-year starter, uh, has been hired as a defensive grad assistant, which is interesting for a quarterback. Uh, are you familiar with Ryan? Uh, have you contacted a man that uh, was in your position all that not all that long ago? Yeah, of course. Uh, growing up, I've seen Ryan. I've seen what he accomplished here. I've seen him play in the NFL, and I got the opportunity a few times to actually throw with Ryan when I was at State when I was younger. And now I see I see Ryan uh, every day. He's uh, he's helping out in the weight room right now. He you know he's getting this right. And, yeah, I see him every day, and uh, I know what he's done for this program. It's just good to have him back. Christian, going into what is going to be your final campaign for the Aztecs, is the preparation this summer any different than years past? Uh, yeah, I would say so, uh, especially the role I'm in. Uh, we're a senior-driven program, and I'm a senior at this point. And uh, it's upon the seniors, you know, to get the guys going, get everyone on the same page. So I'm that guy this year. I need to take that role and, you know, embrace it and, you know, get this team on the right path. It wasn't too long ago where you were one of the newbies, stepping onto that field, putting that helmet on for the very first time. What's your advice to the new guys who are going to be coming into camp as far as dealing with everything that goes into playing football for the Aztecs? Um, you know, it's, it's a whole new ball game. College football is totally different from high school. Just come in with an open mind, prepare to work, get ready, and uh, whatever thrown out, you take it. Don't take it to heart, and just you know, just work, work your butt off. This is a blue collar program, so just get in, learn as much as you can, and get ready for ball. Yeah, I, I was listening, uh, and for, we're going to play a little sound from this. Uh, Baker Mayfield, of course, just won the Heisman Trophy as he's heading into the NFL, um, and he was getting some heat for some of his antics on the football field, and. He said some things that he was talking to Colin Coward about, like, have you ever played college football? Let me tell you how it is, uh, especially from the quarterback position, that there, there's there's trash talk. and there, There's a lot of talk on the field. I know, Christian, you hear it, obviously, maybe coming from the defense or anything else. How do you deal with some of that conversation when you got so much on your plate uh, in being the quarterback of your team? Um, for me personally, it's, it's difficult. You know, I'm I'm busy. You know, usually getting the place on the sideline. Um, you know, get, getting everybody in the personnel in. So I I just listen to. I just laugh it off. I kind of just let my play talk. I just whatever I do on the field that that will talk for itself. So I usually don't have time to trash talk with the other team because I'm so busy. Aztecs quarterback Christian Chapman with us here on the Loose Cannons. We know you want to throw the ball a little bit more this year. You see any budging in in Rocky Long? Maybe he's going to let you go. Uh, yeah, there's a few, there's some talk. You know, this year um, I've been in the program for so long. I know, I know what the offense is all about. I think this year we're going to have to open it up. We said that in years past, but this year we got we got guys and we got you know the potential to do it. And I think that's something we're going to have to do. Uh, we don't have Penny anymore. Uh, Dewan's going to step in and do a great job. Uh, all the linemen are back, so I think it just you know comes to a big thing that you know there's a good chance we're going to throw the ball a lot. But of course we stick to our guns first and that's uh, run the football well and and i think a lot of people forgot this last year christian you know there were, there were the big uncertainty last year going in the year was the offensive line because he had so many new faces and then you know rashad penny has this superhuman year you're know, like everything is great but the fact is i think you could do more things with just that added experience on the offensive line uh talking about opening up the offense talk about that process of sort of you know that experience gain by another year with that group together on that offensive line? Yeah, uh, I think experience is everything at this level. Um, those guys give me an experience out of their belt. For me, when I was younger, that that one year of experience helped me a lot, helped me understand the game, helped me understand the speed of the game. So all those guys, you know, having a year under their belt, and all of them coming back, all of them having the same chemistry with each other, and then uh, having a, you know, this, this year to come up, I think um, it's going to be a good year for them. They've had a lot of experience with each other, so it's going to be nice. I'm excited. How much has the game slowed down for you from the first time starting to, to where you are now? Is it just is it second nature to go through your progressions as far as any play is concerned? Yeah, I've just kind of, you know, recognized what teams like to do against us. I've recognized coverages faster. And once you know what the defense is doing, it makes it a lot easier to know what you're doing. And I know this offense like the back of my hand. I've been in this for a while. So everything's just coming second nature now, and it's just consistency at this point. Well, the season opens on the road against Stanford. That's a gimme. 
Um, okay. So uh, you're, you're playing, obviously, a team that's looking for revenge um, because they had no idea you guys were as good as you were a year ago and huge win for the Aztecs. Uh, they got some guy named Bryce Love. Who? Uh, yeah, runner-up for the Heisman last year. He's back. How much preparation? I mean, do you do you fear almost over preparing for that opening game? I mean, you, you you know the game, you know the opponent. Is there a fear of almost over preparing for that opening game against Stanford? Uh, I don't think so. I think I've already been started preparing now. Um, I don't think you can ever over prepare. Uh, for me, you know, the more, more knowledge you have about a team coming into it, the better. Um, we know the challenge at hand. We knew the challenge last year. The team, uh, they're going to want to come after us. It's our first game, the opening game. So, you know, I'm excited. Um, I know the boys are excited. So it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a shootout. Are you a big visual uh, visualization person? Yeah, I visualize a little bit night before the game. Have you, but have you played the Stanford game in your head already? Yeah, a little bit. Yes, sir. All right, well, let, well, hold on. Let's play along. I mean, since you already beat them, uh, you already—I <laughs> mean, you already beat Stanford last year. So, I mean, you—you yeah. you know what it's like to walk off the field after playing Stanford with a W. Do you do you look back on that game and saying, "All right, they may not have seen this coming. Maybe they didn't realize how good Rashad Penny was going to be, uh, and how you might things different." I mean, without disclosing anything, we don't want you to disclose anything, obviously. But are, there are certain things you're already thinking about that you might do differently against that Stanford defense that maybe they didn't see a year ago. Yeah, that's something I think you got to do. Um, especially last year, how good I think both defenses were playing. We, it was a tough game. It was down at the end. That last drive was, you know, when we broke it open. But, yeah, we're going to have to do some stuff different this year. Um, I know it's going to be a tough game down at the very end, just like it was last year. Uh, both very good programs just going at it. And I know they're going to want that revenge. They're going to, you know, bring it everything they got to start their season off right. Now, a uh, final question for you, Christian. Are you a believer in loose cannon karma? You know, the cannon karma has been a big thing for Coach Martinez in ba- uh, baseball, Coach Dutch in basketball, Coach Long in football. Are you a believer in cannon karma? Uh, I'll say so. There it is. That's all you have to do. If you believe in the canon karma, we are trying to do whatever we can to be there on that Friday night up in Palo Alto to, to lead you guys in for that big opening victory against Stanford. we got to do our part. Christian, we know you're going to handle your part, but we'd like to give you that little extra boost. So if you believe, then the canon karma is going to work for you, Christian. Yes, sir. There it is. See, I told you. He's buying into it. Oh, he's 100% convinced. Can you tell Can you tell how 100% he is behind that? Christian, it's always great to catch up with you, man. Enjoy your summer, and we'll talk to you down the road. Awesome. It was a pleasure, guys. Thanks, right, Christian. That's uh, Christian Chapman, the senior quarterback there. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we're going to edit that to make it sound like he was really into 100%. it. 100%. Yeah, we're, we, can, we can play with that one a little bit to really build it up, okay?